I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. It looks like a bird to me. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. The cup to the left. It's very good. Nice. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? To be honest, I can say that it is like a lot of the rings. One ring to rule them all. So right now we are moving towards that era where one thing will be the answer to everything. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a look at the latest model, the latest AI model provided by Google. And they are claiming that this is the beginning of a new era. So we are going to go ahead and have a look at it and see what happens. And this model is so recent that it was provided just yesterday. So let's go ahead and have a look at the latest model by the name Gemini. So if we go to their website, you can see it says, welcome to the Gemini era. So they are claiming that this is the start of a new beginning. So what exactly does that mean? And is it really true? So we will have a look at that. So first of all, they are saying that meet the first version of Gemini, our most capable AI model. So this race has been very, very uh, intensive and it has been intensifying uh, right after ChatGPT released their models. And then Google felt that they are falling behind and they had to produce something new. So th the thing that they produced, the, the model that they had was not very good, but it seems that now they are ahead of the game and uh, how, how exactly are we um, claiming that or how exactly they are claiming it? They are saying that there is a reference, uh, there is a statistic that is known by the human expert MMLU. So if we click on that, it basically is measuring massive multitask language understanding. So basically, you can say it's based on logic and journalized intuition. So it's basically the closest thing to a human being. That's what makes us human, that we can think logically and uh, respond based on that. So they are saying that based on this specification, uh, it performs, a human performs almost 89.8%. .8%. So this is the highest that, it, that a human can get, uh, the score it can get. And here they are saying that chat GPT basically gets 86 0.4%, which means that it is not exactly uh, surpassing the highest level of human beings. But the Gemini model, surprisingly, it's 90%, which means we have already crossed that threshold of human intelligence. A lot of the uh, AI experts, they were claiming that it will take uh, at least 20, 30 years to get to that point. Uh, they were saying that to the point where humans and AI is basically at the same level. But uh, as you can see, we are already there. So we will get to all of these stats later on. By the way, they have three different versions, Ultra, Pro, and Nano. Nano is for more uh, simplistic devices like phones, and uh, Pro and Ultra are the major versions. Uh, right now, they have released the Pro and Nano and they are still tweaking the ultra they are looking at how exactly can we make it safe before we hand it to the people so uh, we, we will uh, play around with the pro and i will uh, give you a link in the description as well where you can go ahead and check it out so uh, anything to anything basically it has the capability of uh, understanding uh, the context of images videos and then give the answer based on that. So let's go ahead and have a look at what exactly can it do. So they have uh, a video here. Uh, I believe it's hands on. Yeah. So this is the video. Let's play it and see what exactly are we getting. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? 
The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Now, one thing to note here is that, okay, it looks like a very good demo, but keep in mind that uh, right now it's a fixed environment. Uh, they, they, they have a controlled environment. They have a table and uh, it's very clean. There is nothing around it. Then they have a notepad there and the notepad itself is very clean. Uh, the environment is very good in terms of lighting and it is exactly top uh, eye view, which is basically the bird eye view. So it, it is a controlled environment, but we can say that it's uh, version one of this software. And even if it is a controlled environment and if it's giving answers that are so good. It's not okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. Actually, find the finger and tell whether you placed it in the correct country or not. So if we were to create this model, uh, we would have to know the locations of each, uh, each of the countries. And then we will have to detect the finger, the finger movement. And then at a specific, at a specific time period, we will have to check whether it it is touching that area or not, whether it's close to that or not. So without any processing, uh, generally speaking, it is able to answer all that questions. So that's pretty amazing. So maybe uh, in, in one of the next videos, we will try to create this game and see how difficult it is. Hmm. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept. So this is actually quite surprising as well. Uh, they are, they're not actually telling it that this is what we are going to play. By its journal knowledge, it's able to tell, okay, we are going to play a game with a cup and I will be the one guessing it. So we did not have to give any background or any um, contextual uh, information that, okay, this is exactly what we are about to do. It That's the challenge. The cup to the left. Still, it's very good. Nice. Cup on the left, it was able to guess. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. So what again, he didn't actually tell what we are about to do. It just started it. And then it was able to guess it's rock, paper, scissors. Do you see now? The fingers are spread out to look like the wings of a butterfly. What's this? Big ear and barking mouth. A dog. Sweet. So if, if, if we were to actually design all of these uh, games, then we would definitely use some sort of a hand model that uh, actually detects all the points, the landmarks of hands. We would probably use media pipe again by Google. And then we would see how many fingers are up, what exactly are we playing and some sort of that. But again, it will be very specific tasks. So for example, it can only play rock, paper, scissor. But here you can see it can do multiple different things uh, from the same model. So that's very impressive. The coin should be under the right hand. Mm, I don't know. The coin is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the coin has disappeared. Both objects are round and flat. There you go. So here he just placed the things and he's asking basically nothing. But the AI is telling, uh, it's giving a comparison that, okay, because it's giving me two different things, let me just compare both of them. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. <laughs> they are both examples of popular toys that have been enjoyed by children and adults alike for many years. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? So here is the interesting part, the new part, where it's not just giving a suggestion in terms of text, but it's also giving based uh, of an image. So it's suggesting you that, okay, go ahead and build this uh, similar to this image, which is very- Okay, how about these colors? 
And maybe show me some animals. Okay. Now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? Or a bunny with a pink nose? Ooh, I'll keep those in mind. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. This is very impressive because it is, first of all, it's making sense of the scene that the duck should move towards the duck or it should move towards something that looks evil. So it's making a sense of the scene itself and then it's trying to figure out where exactly should the duck go. And it's quite uh, impressive that it's able to do that. So the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. Is this the right order? No. The correct order is Sun, Earth, Saturn. Now, Based on their design, which... If you were to give this to a human, I would say definitely they will have to think about this. What exactly are you trying to do? Like, what order are you referring to? So you have to have a bit of intelligence to actually understand, wait, what did happen here? So you can see it was able to guess that, okay, we are talking about the solar system and the positioning of the planets within that. Then here we have a car. Let's see what that does. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. Which looks more fun. The one on the right, because it has a loop. What do you think this... I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice. Be very impressive on all the tasks what is able to achieve and especially the one with the movie where it had to guess a very particular scene of a very particular movie. So this is very impressive and uh, it, it, it is definitely the start of a new era because we as programmers and especially in the computer vision field, we program these AI models, we program specific tasks to do specific things and it takes us a long time to code and to fine tune the models and even then they have lots of issues with them because uh, when it comes to real models, real time applications, there are a lot of variables that go within these um, environments. So, but here you can see a model uh, I, I, to, to be honest, I can say that it is like Lord of the Rings, one ring to rule them all. So right now we are moving towards that era where one thing will be the answer to everything. So uh, what can you do now? Uh, right now you cannot access the Ultra, but you can access the Pro version. So if we go to Bard, which is the Google version of ChatGPT, uh, then you can go here and enter prompts. So what we will do is we are going to try a few different things and let's see how it performs. So here are our images. What we are going to do, we are going to add them and see what the AI tells us. So first of all, let's add a maths equation. So this is the Taylor series. Probably you have studied this. So we will just write what is this. So I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to ask the same question again and again. So let's see if it works or not. And remember, this is the pro model. It is not the ultra one, uh, the one that they used in their demos. So it will not be the best one. The image you sent is a mathematical equation of Taylor series expansion of a function centered at point x0. So not only it is saying that it is a Taylor series, but it is uh, a function centered at point x0. So it is quite impressive and it is able to break down and explain what exactly it is. And then you can even export it to a data sheet. Uh, so yeah, definitely it works quite well. So let's move on to the second one, which is an image uh, of a mannequin wearing a shirt. So let's see whether it's able to understand the overall uh, idea of this image and whether it's able to give out some details as well or not. 
this is a black and white plaid shirt on a mannequin so definitely it knows it's not a human it's a mannequin it's a classic and versatile piece of clothing that can be worn for a variety of occasions so it's even giving fashion advice so um i didn't ask for it but okay here are some ideas how to style a black and white plaid shirt okay uh, for a casual look blah 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 so okay so it is un uh, able to understand and it is able to uh give out some reasoning and some explanation for it let's go to the next one and again we are going to put what is this so this one is an image of a phone and it's using an ar application so the interesting thing is to look at whether it recognizes the ar capabilities or not the image you send is a person using a smartphone to create 3d rendering of a chair and coach uh, this is an example of ar okay so it does recognize it uh, which is a technology and overlays computer generated images so yeah definitely that is quite impressive because it's it's not really clear even if you show it to a normal human being it's not very clear that whether this image is of an actual sofa in the uh, living room or is it an augmented one but it is able to get it that it is augmented so that is quite impressive but you might say okay that's it end of the world we are doomed but no we still have some hope uh let's try this image and you will see what exactly am i referring to so this was back uh when i created a ping pong game using uh hand gesture movements and let's see what it says this is this is a picture of a sesame fighting fish known as the beta fish <laughs> uh, beta fish are native to south asia so as you can see it just went on the wrong track so if i look at this fish um i i, I don't see the connection i don't see how it's even close to that uh, so yeah it definitely went uh wrong with that let's see the other draft oh there you go it's the second one this is an image of a pong game designed using hand gesture okay so there you go maybe we are doomed so pong is a classic arcade game where two players control paddle and hit a ball so now it is and uh, oh it is able to find the link as well let's let's see if it is able oh yes there you go it is able to find the link of our website computervision.zone and uh, you can see the pong game okay so that is dangerous we are heading in the dangerous territories okay let's uh, try another one so what is this uh, but yeah there is uh, an initial limitation right now that it will not recognize any faces so whatever you do uh, it will avoid any faces. So the image you sent is a screenshot of a search engine results. The query, what is this? The SERP shows, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's way off. I don't know what it's trying to do. Photo of group of people standing in front of a large language model. What? Come on. Brown tabby cat sitting in a cardboard box. So none of them are right. So it's basically drones flying uh, in a futuristic city, uh, kind of animated. So uh, it, it is way off um, in all of these uh, answers. So yeah, uh, but again, this is a pro version. The ultra will be far better than this, hopefully. So then we will try out my image and I will write, what is this? and you will see that it will not answer this hopefully <laughs> yeah and the image is removed direct uh, directly because it cannot help with images in people yet so right now because again if you if you remember there are a lot of implications of this what is right what is wrong the gray areas the white and black so we'll have to see what exactly does this imply and how exactly can we move forward with such power powerful tools so if you remember spider-man um with great power comes great responsibility so 
this itself is no less than great power, I would say. So we are heading indefinitely to a new era. And uh, I believe in 2024, we will have movies done by AI. And uh, with, with this releasing, I'm not sure what exactly will happen uh, in the near future. We'll have to wait and see and how rapidly and how fast these things are going to move. Uh, it is kind of scary, especially for the people working in computer vision. Uh, it is going to take over an entire industry and people would be stuck with using API calls and paying for those. Uh, but let's see what happens in the open source world. And uh, for now, I would say definitely it's an advancement and definitely it is start of, uh, start of a new era. And we'll have to wait and see what this implies. So this is it for today. I hope you have learned something new. Uh, for the latest updates, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will keep updating with, it, with the latest AI and robotics news. And we will try creating some of these games as well. And as soon as this launches, we are going to use it and we will see how you can use this in your own projects as well. So this is it for today. I will see you in the next one.